Sabrina from Physics Department in Surabaya State University. I'm gonna try to solve some problems in Mary Elmo's books. The title is Mathematical Methods in Physical Sciences. I will try to solve problem in chapter 11, uh, section 5, number 2. So keep watching this video until the end. Okay, we are gonna to prove this equation. Gamma function of n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 1 multiplied by 3 and this one 2 n minus 1 over 2 power n square of b. So we are gonna have here 2 n factorial over 4 power n n factorial square b. So we are gonna use the fundamental property of gamma p plus 1 is equal to p gamma p for any p larger than 0 so we are gonna have gamma n plus 1 over 2 equal to gamma n minus 1 over 2 plus 1 is equal to n minus 1 over 2 gamma n minus 1 over 2 so we can keep going on on this work such as like n minus 1 over 2 gamma n minus 1 over 2 equal to n minus 1 over 2 gamma n minus 3 over 2 plus 1 is equal to n minus 1 over 2 n minus 3 over 2 gamma n minus 3 over 2 so we are gonna have n minus 1 over 2 and n minus 3 over 2 gamma n minus 5 over 2 plus 1 is equal to n minus 1 over 2 n minus 3 over 2 n minus 5 over 2 gamma n minus 5 over 2 and we can keep this work until n now since n here some fixed integer this this work always comes to an end so eventually uh, this work so we have get down to gamma 1 over 2 so at this point we cannot go any further gamma p plus 1 is equal to p gamma p it's only holds for p larger than 0 However, in this last section, we know that gamma 1 over 2 is equal to square v. So, we have gamma n plus 1 over 2 is equal to n minus 1 over 2, n minus 3 over 2, n minus 5 over 2, and so on 3 over 2 1 over 2 and gamma 1 over 2 also we can rewrite this all in this form of n minus 1 over 2 n minus 3 over 2 n minus 5 over 2 and so on 3 over 2 1 over 2 and also we can know that gamma of 1 over 2 is square of p now we can observe that this is a product is have an n terms multiplying the root of p multiply and divide by the 2 
power of n. So in the numerator, we should put a factor of 2 in each term. So we have uh, gamma n plus 1 over 2 is equal to we multiply by 2 uh, power of n so we have 2n minus 1 and 2n minus 3 2n minus 5 and we have 3 here 1 and we divided it by the so we in this part we multiplied by 2 and for the numerator we divided by 2n so this is for the first equality for the second equality uh, remember that the numerator above is a product of odd numbers it is begin with 1 until 2n minus 1 so we can multiply and divide by the product of all even numbers from 2 to 2n so the top part will be just the product of all from 1 to 2n other rest known so we have for the second second equality 1 multiplied by 2 so on. we have a 2n minus 1 it's 2 power of n also have a root of v is equal to 1 2 3 it's 2n minus 2 2n minus 1 and 2n we we have here so before we divided the product of all even numbers from 2 to 2n two so we here we have 2 power of n 2 4 so on uh, we have 2n here and square of v so we can simplify this term to 2n factorial to power n 2 4 this uh, 2n square of b now the product of different numbers from 2 to 2n has n terms so we can pull out the 2 here it's become a uh, 2 4 etc 2n is equal to 2n 1 2 etc n it's gonna be equal to 2n n factorial here is this so we can take note that 2 power of n 2 power of n is equal to 2 power of 2n or we can rewrite it as 2 power 2 n such as 4 power of n so we gonna have a solution like 1 3 2 n minus 1 2 power of n square of v is equal to 2 n factorial 2 power of n 2 power of n and factorial square of v or we can write it to n factorial over 4 power of n and factorial square of v so this is the second equity so it is proven that that this equation before gamma n plus 1 over 2 is equal to 2 n factorial over 4 n n factorial square of v thank you for watching 
Greetings from Surabaya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.